Hello and welcome to the Huntron Quick Tip video series. Huntron has been posting useful tips on the Huntron website for quite some time now. However, we thought that having these tips in a video form would prove helpful to a larger audience. If you wish to see these quick tips on our website, go to Huntron.com and select Technical Support under the Support menu. Scroll down to the Quick Tips tab and you will see all of the tips listed. This list is always expanding, so be sure to check back on occasion. So without further ado, on to today's video quick tip. Today's video quick tip covers how to make a change in the component tree settings and copy that change to other components within the tree. So for today's example, I'm going to take this component's range number one and change it from three volts to five volts. It's important that I make the change first before trying to copy it to other components. The next step is to right click on the column header, select set current all, and you can make the change to either the pins on the device, all the components in the sequence, or all the sequences in the test. I'm going to select components because I want to make this change to all the components in the sequence. You'll get a message letting you know that the change is going to be made. So by clicking the yes button, that change will be made. So now we can go to a different component, go to the ranges tab, and see on that range number one that the voltage has now been changed to five volts. You can use the set current all function in many places in the tree. So if you right click on the delay, for example, you can make a change there. You go to the pins tab, maybe go to scan pin, right click there on the column header and see so you have a set current all menu. It's just important you make the change first and then use the set current all function to make that change to other components. I hope you found this video useful and please stay tuned for more.